I believe that the Magic Triangle will be one of the most attractive places for both uh, Egyptian and foreign investment. Simply because like many other places that have been developed in Egypt before for international tourism, the return on investment has been very high and has been sustainable. Everyone knows about the marvelous resorts along Egypt's Red Sea coast. Sharm el Sheikh is almost a household name in the travel world. Egypt has a 985 kilometer long coast on the Mediterranean Sea. which opens up a number of exciting possibilities. Let us explore the options. If we drive westwards from Alexandria along the coast, we come to Il Alamin. Il Alamin is full of contemporary history, charged with nostalgia and emotions. The memory of thousands of loved ones who gave up their lives in World War II is forever entrenched in the desert sands of El Alamin. It is here in 1942 that Montgomery faced his adversary, Rommel, in the Battle of El Alamin. A museum records this historical turning point. The area now boasts a splendid five-star resort and spa on the white sandy beaches off the Mediterranean. El Alamin is easily accessible by road and recently acquired its own international airport. Moving further west, we come to Mersa Matruh, 290 kilometers west of Alexandria and 184 kilometers from El Alamin. It lies on a bay on the Mediterranean and is notable for its seven kilometer long beach, which, as all visitors will tell you, is one of the most beautiful in the world. You don't get this anywhere else, you cannot see this. And the water is unbelievable, like the, the salt on your skin feels awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, the service that you get here is incredible. Like, you, you waited on hand and foot. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's, yeah, some, something definitely you have, it's a must see, must do. The beach is famous for its white, soft sands and calm, clear waters. This beach dates back to the days of Alexander the Great. He stopped here during his historical expedition to pay tribute and sacrifice to the god Amun at Siwa. Mersa Matruh now maintains an international airport, hotels along the seafront and a bustling town. The magnificent beaches remain intact and are enjoyed by individuals from around the globe. Turning inland at Mersa Matruh and driving some 309 kilometers, we come to the enchanting oasis of Siwa. 
The oasis is 10 kilometers long, 6 to 8 kilometers wide, and has about 200 natural springs. Two rock formations provide the sites of the old walled settlements of Siwa and Agurmi, which are veritable fortresses. The oasis is inhabited by Berber-speaking peoples who live in mud-brick houses at the foot of their former strongholds. Siwa Oasis is extremely fertile and harvests thousands of date palms and olive trees. The combination of palms, olive groves and limpid pools creates a landscape that leaves an indelible mark upon one's memory, made even more vivid by spectacular sunsets. The oasis was the seat of the oracle temple of Amun, where Alexander learned of his destiny of conquest. The remains of the temple, which bears inscriptions dating back to the 4th century BC, lie in the ruins of Agurmi. While visiting the temple ruin, one is transported back to the times of Alexander, when he set out to conquer the world. Today, Siwa is becoming a much sought-after destination for those who seek something different. Ecotourism is clearly visible in Siwa's hospitable habitat. Eco-lodges allow visitors to experience living in simple yet elegant comfort that blends in with the environment. Uh, Egypt is, more, is taking more care of uh, the security for the people. Uh, it's uh, well organized, roads are better and uh, yeah, it's, it's a very easy going. You can almost hear the silence as you sip your drink overlooking this splendid vista. In addition, the Magic Triangle is extremely attractive to investors. It includes three areas that are part of the master plan for the Egyptian north coast. Ras el Hikma, with its exquisite pattern of bays and inlets, a green oasis and rocky terrain lend it a unique character. Fuka, a narrow coastal strip with a backdrop of cliffs and sand dunes is another area under development. The third is Bagush, west of Ras al-Hikmah, an area with unlimited potential. The development plan will stress uniformity and aesthetics throughout the area, as well as assuring practical procedures that afford full protection to the environment. The Mediterranean coast is a new product that we are introducing to the market. Actually, we have a very big development and a very big plan for the future. We are very much looking uh, to, for uh, a, a development that will take place that would upgrade the whole industry. The magic triangle formed by Al Alamin, Mersa Matruh and Siwa draws one in to an experience that lasts a lifetime. From Al Alamin, the nostalgia and memories of loved ones. To Mersa Matruh, offering amazing beaches and water. Ending in Siwa, a panorama of breathtaking scenery and memories of a millennia long past. Whether a visitor or an investor, You'll find what you want in the Magic Triangle. So come and explore. Can you resist? <laughs>